Hi, my name's Connor. I'm the developer of Mars Flight VR, and in this video I'm going to show a new feature that I'm working on, which is the photography science missions. So this gameplay recreates what the real helicopter is likely to do on Mars, which is to fly ahead of the rover and photograph interesting locations. You can see this is Science Mission 1, it says the difficulty is easy, and the mission is to photograph three nearby locations. So to start the mission I have to fly through this green cylinder, and then you see a target pops up, and it says photograph this location. So the helicopter has a camera pointing downwards at 45 degrees. To take a good picture, I just have to be traveling slow enough, and I have to point the camera at the target. You see a preview in the bottom right. I press the A button, it takes the picture. Each of these science missions has three targets that you have to photograph. And in easy missions like this, all you really have to do is point the target, point the camera at the target and take the picture. So here's the second one up here. You see it says photograph this location, and you'll notice in the bottom right in the preview it tells you your speed. So your speed has to be below three meters per second to take a good photograph. So I need to hover carefully with the camera pointing at the right angle. And then press A, and that photograph's taken. So the third target is down here. You see the bouncing yellow chevron that indicates where the target is. Now this one has an extra parameter. You see as I get closer, the text says, photograph this location at 10 meters altitude. So if you look at the heads-up display, the altitude is on the right. We're currently at 7 meters. I need to go up a little. And then line up the camera as well. There's a good photograph. Now it says all photographs taken return to the landing area. So you have to land inside this green cylinder. That's your waypoint. And you have to stay landed for three seconds and then the clock will stop. So that's mission complete. My time was 1 minute 44 seconds, 0.8, and that was a one star time. So if you're faster, you can get up to three stars for the mission. And in the final game, there will be online leaderboards so you can see how you fared against the competition. If you've watched any of the previous videos, you might notice that the helicopter looks different in this one. This is the flight model. This is the version of the helicopter that JPL have packed onto the rover ready to send to Mars next year. The previous videos showed the prototype, which had a different solar panel and uh, different legs. You notice when I fly low here that it kicks up a lot of dust and makes it harder to see. And of course I'm recording this in VR so I can look around and show you the landscape. Uh, this mission is harder. So this is Science Mission 2 and this is a, an example of a hard difficulty mission. So you'll see there's extra parameters on the photo locations. So once again you fly through the cylinder to start the mission. And then you have three locations to photograph. Now you can see this one has got extra co conditions. This one says, photograph this location at 15 meters altitude, facing northeast. So I need to look up at my compass. You see there's north, there's east, 45 degrees is northeast. I also have to get my altitude up. If you look on the right of the HUD, you see I'm at 12 meters, now 13, now 14. Now I've got to fix my heading. Once the heading and the altitude are perfect, I look down and see if it's aligned, and then take the picture. So these missions obviously require good flight skills. You need to be able to hover the helicopter and line up the camera with the target. The real helicopter will probably fly at about 30 meters height, and of course it's completely autonomous. It's simply sent a mission and it takes the photographs on its own. But for the purposes of the game, it's more fun to fly it manually. Now this one says, what about this, at 10 meters altitude facing east. So I'm at eight meters, now I'm at 10. My heading's pretty good. Take a look at the alignment. Perfect. Now the final target is over this way. You can play this game in easy mode, where the uh, controls are more like an arcade game. Um, but in this demonstration I'm playing in simulation mode, so hovering is quite difficult. 
So this one requires 15 meters altitude facing south. First I look up at my heading and get south. Then I check my altitude. And I'll try and line up the camera. That's causing me to drift right a little, so I need to compensate, head back. There's the heading, and there's a good photo. So now I have to race back to the landing area as quickly as possible to get a good time. You can see the clock is in the top left of the heads-up display. It says 2 minutes 11 seconds, now 12. Uh, once you've landed and stayed still for 3 seconds, the clock stops and it records your time. This one actually requires a time of 1 minute 30 to get 3 stars, so I'm a bit slow. Alright, land it gently, hold it still for 3. And that's mission complete. So 2 minutes 34, and that's a 1 star time. So Mars Flight VR will be available on Steam in early access soon. It will support all the PC VR headsets. Um, you can click the link in the video description to add the game to your wishlist and then you'll get a notification when it comes out. So thank you for watching.